Let's look at multiplying and dividing with integers. If we go back to primary school, 4 multiplied by 3 just means 4 lots of 3. And that is going to be 12. Now, 4 multiplied by negative 3, well, that's just going to mean 4 lots of negative 3. And that, we know, is just negative 3, subtract 3, subtract 3, subtract 3. In other words, you're at negative 3, and you keep on going further and further down. You're going to end up at negative 12. If we do negative 4, subtract 3, well, we can always just swap around the order in which we do multiplication. So that's the th same as 3 multiplied by negative 4. So that's 3 lots of negative 4, which is going to be negative 4, subtract 4, subtract 4, which is negative 12. The one that's going to cause us a little bit of problems is negative 4 multiplied by negative 3, because all the other ones we could talk about as 4 lots of negative 3 or 3 lots of negative 4. Whereas now it's a bit more abstract with negative 4 multiplied by negative 3. So what we're going to see is what makes most sense. Um, and that's what we're going to use to get the answer. So basically what we're going to see here is that we had negative 4 multiplied by 3 being negative 12. So negative 4 multiplied by negative 3 it wouldn't be comfortable to call that negative 12 because we've changed something. We've changed the 3 to negative 3. So what makes most sense would be to call it 12. Now, I know that's not a very satisfactory explanation. Um, and at, at a later point in life, we can go into a much more satisfactory ex explanation. But hopefully for now, it's enough to give you some sense of why we'd want negative 4 multiplied by negative 3 to be 12 rather than negative 12. OK, but let's summarize what we have established there. Then if we've got a positive multiplied by a positive, our answer is positive. And if we've got a negative multiplied by a negative, our answer is positive as well. But if we have a positive multiplied by a negative or a negative multiplied by a positive, the answer will be negative. And because multiplication and division are closely related, the same story is going to hold true for division. So let's look at some examples. Why don't you pause the video and see if you can try these. OK, so 3 multiplied by negative 5. That's going to be a positive multiplied by a negative. That answer has to be negative. The next one, remember when we just write two brackets next to each other? We mean multiplication. So it's negative 4 multiplied by negative 6. A negative multiplied by a negative has to be positive, and 4 multiplied by 6 is 24. And then in the last one, we've got a positive divided by a negative, so that's going to give me a negative, and 32 divided by 8 is 4. <laughs> 